Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at one of my favorite websites out there, a tool that has really come in handy for me in a lot of the video projects that I create for this channel. You guys probably know that this uh, channel has a focus on vintage technology and I do a lot of like retrospective type videos and a lot of those videos kind of require me to show you what a company's or a product's website looked like back many years ago. There's no way to really get the, you know access to these old websites and these old web pages. Well, you can with the Internet Archive Wayback Machine. What this is is a uh, collection of billions of different web pages. It's actually a project by the Internet Archive, which is a nonprofit organization that has a goal of kind of digitizing and creating an archive of all sorts of content. They've got a massive book library on here of kind of trying to digitize books. They've got media. They've even got uh, playable DOS games that you can play in your web browser, which is pretty cool. But what we're taking a look at today is the Wayback Machine. What you can do is go to this website, web.archive.org. You can type in any website URL and uh, it will pull up an archive, basically a timeline of that website all the way back to 1996 if it has been around since then. Let's say we want to take a look at apple.com. So we're going to type in apple.com here and press enter. And the archive is going to pull up this wonderful timeline here all the way back to 1996. Now you can see as we progress over time, uh, the black bars here indicate how many snapshots there are. So you can see that in more recent years, there are a lot of snapshots. But back in, you know, when the whole project first started, there are very, very few snapshots. So we can, for example, go back to 1996 and take a look at the earliest snapshot they have, which in this case happens to be from October 22nd, 1996. There's one snapshot. I can click on it right here and it will begin to load apple.com as it was on October 22nd, 1996, when this snapshot was taken. So here we go, this is the website. Now, not everything loads 100% uh, correctly. You can see there are a few images, and that's definitely the case for these older snapshots. Not everything is gonna load correctly, and you know, as you can see, there's some images here that did not load properly. But you can still get a look at how this website looked in 1996. We can zoom in here, and you can see this was back when they were talking about there's a new PowerBook family. Apple announced the Macintosh PowerBook 1400 series combining the 117 megahertz power PC speed with a removable CD-ROM drive and expansion options. Uh, some of these pages will be archived, some of them won't be. So there definitely will be cases where it won't be able, like say if you click on a specific link or it, it won't be able to pull up, uh, like it, it doesn't have that page archived. But one thing you'll also see happen is like if I click on this link right here, it doesn't have a snapshot of that page from 1996, but it jumps to the earliest snapshot that it has of this page, which just happens to be from 1999, three years later. And you can see this is actually, it just says host not available. It's not the actual uh, product web page, which was the uh, color laser uh, printer page. So, or the uh, uh, color laser writer. So uh, definitely, I mean, it's not gonna be a complete snapshot of every single page. And you can see that here's exactly what I was talking about. We clicked on the logo and it doesn't, I mean, you can see right here, the Wayback Machine does not archive this URL. So as you get into like more specific URLs, as you can see here, uh, it's, it, it's not gonna have those archived. It's not gonna have every single URL archived, but for what it is, it is so awesome, and it's really one of my favorite websites. Like I said, this has come in handy for so many video projects where I wanna take a look at a website back in you know 1996, and it has even come in handy for downloading files. I've actually done this with uh, certain beta builds of Windows. You can actually go and uh, pull up the Windows Developer Preview, like the Windows 8 Developer Preview download page from like 2011 when it was launched, and you can download the Windows Developer Preview uh, right from that website as if it was still being hosted by Microsoft, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we can also, speaking of Microsoft, let's uh, take a look at Microsoft.com. So once again, in recent years, we have a lot of snapshots, but we can go all the way back to 1996 where there is a single snapshot uh, or actually, well, it's all in one month, it's in October, but we're gonna go to October 20th, 1996. We'll click on this snapshot. There's four snapshots available. Uh, and yeah, the snapshots are kind of like how many snapshots are available because there might be multiple ones on a specific day that's indicated by the size of these circles. So here there's only one, the circle's much smaller. Here there's four, so the circle is much larger. 
So here we are at Microsoft.com back in 1996. You can see certain things like the images don't load correctly, but you've got Microsoft's old slogan right there. Where do you want to go today? You can be one of the first to get Visual Basic 5.0 Control Creation Edition plus other tools and technologies. Uh, this website was back, I mean, Windows 98 wasn't even out yet at this point. Windows 95 was the latest consumer version of Windows when this website was uh, snapshotted by the Wayback Machine. I mean, that is just so, that's just so awesome to think about. We can also take a look at, I mean, if we want to go to whitehouse.gov. Whitehouse.gov is archived all the way back to 1996. So we can go to December 27th is the only snapshot here. And yeah, this is what uh, whitehouse.gov looked like back in 1996. Uh, and yeah, check out that email address. It was feedback at www.whitehouse.gov. Uh, and yeah, pretty, pretty basic website. It's definitely changed a lot over time. And yes, you may have been able to see we do have like, let me type in, uh, let's actually pull up youtube.com. So youtube.com, it obviously hasn't been around since 1996. So there's no, I mean, you got all these years here where there are no snapshots because the website didn't exist. YouTube was launched in 2005, so we can go to the earliest snapshot it's got, which is uh, April 28th, 2005. So we can load up this snapshot right here. And yeah, check this out. So all the images have loaded in this case. And this was back when YouTube was a dating service. Yes, YouTube was actually the original concept, from what I understand, uh, was to be a video, like, online dating service. Obviously, you don't have that on YouTube nowadays. But that's just so, it's, it's just so, so uh, interesting to see like, just how this website has changed. What I was saying earlier is you've got this bar up here. This is essentially the Internet Archive Wayback Machine navigation bar where I can easily switch between snapshots. So you can jump ahead to 2006. I can jump essentially a year ahead and take a look at YouTube in 2006. You can also type in a uh, URL right from this address bar here and press go and just go to an archived version of that website. So here we are loading YouTube from 2006. This is when they were using the slogan, broadcast yourself, which man, it has been a while since I've seen that slogan. Uh, and yeah, check that out. Just look at how much this site changed in just a year. And we can even go, like if you wanna go to a very specific like youtube.com, check this out. This is my channel back in 2013 when I had 50 subscribers. We had 50 subscribers on the channel. My newest video was a Minecraft video. Um, and yeah, you can, and there's even one older than this. It says there's only one capture, but if you uh, add the user, like if you do user slash MJD7999, uh, there's actually, I think, two uh, snapshots here. Uh, so yeah, this one is even, there's, there's actually more recent. There's 173 captures. Uh, but we can go all the way back to 2013 okay so it's from early 2013 but uh this was back when i was using the channel layout like before uh the one you saw in in the last snapshot and this was back when the channel had 23 subscribers and 9248 video views uh and my latest video was the uh, 29th birthday video on the macintosh and yeah it's just it's just so awesome to see i've, I've kind of gone back and looked at these old snapshots occasionally. So guys, that is a look at the Internet Archive Wayback Machine. Again, this is just a extremely useful tool. I mean, it's not like this is anything new. I've been using this tool for years, but I realized that I never made a dedicated video on it. And I think this absolutely deserves a dedicated video. And uh, so for those of you guys who have never heard of it, hopefully you found this one interesting. Uh, and if you guys want to see me maybe take a look at some of the other stuff that the Internet Archive has to offer, like I mentioned, they have an archive of books that have been digitized and videos and even some movies, uh, well, you know, certain like older films and that sort of thing. I do believe they've got some of those on here. They obviously have the DOS games that I mentioned before, and they also have arcade games you know, that have been archived and you can literally play these games in your web browser. It's super cool. You don't even have to download a virtual machine and set all that up. You can do it right from your web browser. And it's so awesome that this is totally free. I mean, this is completely free to access. There's this massive archive of all this information. It's just wonderful. And it's definitely come in handy for uh, for me in the, the various video projects that I, uh, that I end up doing for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to get subscribed down below and uh, turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already 
to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do every single week, multiple times per week here on this channel. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or video suggestions for me, leave those down in the comments as those definitely help and I really appreciate it. And as always guys, I wanna thank you all so much for watching and for your continued support here on the channel. And I will see you all in the next video.